Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm at Walmart. I'm going to do a Walmart shop with me. I'm going to share with you guys my favorite makeup products from Walmart. We're going to browse through the aisles of makeup. I'm also going to be searching for new makeup products and I am looking for Batty B eyelashes because I heard they're in Walmart now and I'm so excited and supposedly this Walmart has them in stock so I'm gonna go in here and check if they have some if they don't I'm gonna go to another Walmart I am on a mission to find these Batty B eyelashes all the girls that live around me we super fabulous we love our eyelashes so I always have to go like far away to Walmarts where I know girls don't really buy eyelashes at I'm always checking on my Walmart app to see where they're in stock and stuff and supposedly this Walmart that's like, you know, close by me, it's not my first choice. The Walmart that's by my house is sold out. But the next Walmart that's closest to my house says they're in stock. So we'll see right now. All right, let's go shopping. This is the eyelash section and you see hardly anything here. But the ones that they do have are still good ones. This is my favorite body wash ever. This is the original scent, fragrance free. And this one. This one is my favorite, Water Lily. I just saw this one. Taisha on YouTube says she loves this one, I think. Which one is that? Are these the same? I think she's, she likes this one. I want to smell it. Mm. Smells like flowers. I think my water lily. I think I like how my water lily tastes. I mean, tastes. <laughs> smells. Okay, this is the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using for a year straight now. It is the best. My hair has grown a lot, I swear to you. My hair has grown a lot after using this and they used to not have the big bottles and now they do. So, I got shampoo and conditioner here. I'm gonna give you guys a little outfit of the day. A little jean jacket. And a maxi dress. I'm back in my car. I have the AC on. I took off my jacket because it's so hot already. Um, you guys, this was not a really good Walmart trip. I hardly vlogged in there because it was really empty in there. There was no Betty B lashes. A lot of stuff. I'm telling you, the Walmart by me, just you can't find anything. Like, you got to be quick. Once you see it, you get it. And then... It's gonna get hard to find oh my god okay so this was the first time i've been inside of a walmart in a long time because i never go inside walmart i always order everything online and walmart is so different they don't even have cashiers anymore it's all like self checkout it's crazy oh let me sanitize my hands it's crazy in there everything is so different and it's like weird i don't know i didn't like the vibes in there it was like what this is not the walmart i'm used to i felt really strange as soon as i walked in i felt really strange and i feel like i was like Ugh, i didn't want to vlog in there and then also there was a girl like stocking up on the makeup because it needed to be stocked it was so empty in there and so i didn't feel comfortable vlogging in there because of that also but i got some of my essential products i was like might as well get something since i'm here but i'll show you guys a quick little haul of what i got found this Profusion Neon Eyeshadow Palette. It was like under $5. I picked up another CC cream because I'm trying to find my perfect shade. I picked up a yellow nail polish to match my nails so I can put it on my toes. They're bare at the moment. I stocked up on my favorite mascara, Falsies, in the color Black Drama. It's the one with the black words on it. And I never get waterproof. I just get the regular. I got Sculpt and Shade off contouring palette. I haven't used this in a long time. It has like new packaging. And I also stocked up on this L'Oreal True Match in the color W5. And I want to try out this Milani bronzer. This is in the color Sun Kissed number two. And then I stocked up on my favorite body wash and shampoo. Shampoo for the boys. 
and I got bananas. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go to the next Walmart and hopefully that one is more successful. Okay, Walmart number two. It's like this Walmart hasn't gone through all those changes, so it makes me feel better. And we made it to the makeup aisle, and this Walmart looks really stocked up. Okay, no Betty B lashes here. I don't know where they would be at, but they're available online, so I'm gonna just order them online. I'm gonna forget about looking for them on store. So let's get started. All right, my favorite brands at the drugstore top three are Maybelline, Wet n Wilds, and e.l.f. Let's see. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. So sorry. Okay. This is my favorite bronzer at the drugstore, but I get the City Bronzer Color 100, which they don't have. Okay, this, I love this setting spray because it makes your makeup last a long time, up to 16 hour wear matte finish. This is under $8. And this is one of my top favorite concealers at the drugstore. I usually get this color right here, 120 Light. So these highlighters are beautiful. I usually use the shade 100, but they always break on me and that's why I never use it because I have this at home, but it's all broken and I've bought it twice before already and it always breaks. Love how stock and beautiful it looks in here. Yeah, this other one was so empty. So this is one of my favorite foundations, the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I usually get the color 128 when I'm not tan, and when I'm tan, I get 228, which is right here, soft tan. People are just walking straight past me and I'm vlogging in front of them, like I don't care. I just need to get over this camera shyness of vlogging in public, I need to get over that. Another awesome product, of course, the Loose Powders by Maybelline. I usually get the one that, is it this one? Maybe No, not this one, because you see how dark that looks, and this is the color light. I get the one that's fair light. They have so many different colors, so they add coverage to your under eyes, and that's why I love it. So the one that's fair light is like a little bit more of a yellowy shade, because this is the color light but it looks very pinky, and the fair light looks more yellowy. I'm sure you guys already know about this. Everyone loves this concealer also. I've never tried this one, but I want to try it. I'm trying to figure out what shade I am, because I think Tasha uses this. I love Tasha so much, and she has oily skin like me, so I always get like what she gets. So I think I'm going to get this light tan color. It's supposed to be Super Stay 30 Hour Wear Matte Foundation. And of course, I already talked about my favorite mascara. Falsies Black Drama. Look at how fully stuck this is. Beautiful. And Falsies Black Drama is my holy girl mascara. Like, no other mascara can take its place. Of course, all the color sensation lipsticks are awesome. My favorite are the mattes. I also really love these Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks. So they have these ones. Superstay. But for some reason, these have a different formula and these are just better to me. But I love wearing these in the fall. But those don't have that sticky feeling like these two. These ones do. These ones stay, have like a sticky feeling on your lips. But these ones are so long lasting, like you can eat anything, they'll stay on no matter what. I have all of the colors except for this really dark one. Okay, another Maybelline favorite is the Micro Defining Pencil. So many brands have the a Micro Brow Pencil now, so I like the Maybelline one and also the L'Oreal one and NYX. I usually buy the Medium Brown, but that one's a little too cool tone. I'm looking at soft brown like I might like it. But they don't have it here. Okay, next they have Revlon. And to be honest, Revlon never calls my attention. 
I never use Revlon. The only thing I've bought from Revlon and I've liked are their lipsticks, especially these matte ones. These are like newer. Um, I like those. The formula is super, super nice. But all their lipsticks are actually really great and really inexpensive, under $5. But that's pretty much it. Nothing really calls my attention from Revlon for some reason. If you guys have a Revlon favorite that I should know about, let me know so I can try it out. And now we're at the hard candy section. Their packaging is just adorable. I haven't used any new hard candy stuff lately. So it got really noisy inside Walmart, so I have to do voiceovers on a couple of these sections. But I wanted to mention that I love the hard candy setting sprays. So they have a mattifying one. They also have this hydrating long wearing one, which I've never seen before. It seems really good. And then they also have this glowing one. And for $6, that's great. Tisha also really loves their foundation. They don't have that many colors. What color would I be? Hmm, wow, it's only six dollars. This is all the shades they have. This is not enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. This looks cool. I love anything that's like shimmery body oil. I love shimmery body oils. I rub this all over my body all year round, but especially in the summer. Look at these eyeshadow palettes. They look so pretty. I don't know how much they are ten dollars i think i don't know what to get from hard candy let me know what your favorite hard candy stuff is but look at these packaging this packaging is so cute this is like a marilyn monroe collection music is really loud here but they got this little itty bitty tiny rimmel section right here and i love these liquid lipsticks from Rimmel, they are so comfortable to wear and long lasting. I love them. Obviously, people really love this liquid lipstick because there was hardly any left and they're really inexpensive. My favorite colors are Mocha and Be My Baby. And I was just looking through the Milani section and I noticed that they have a lot of really good looking primers. I didn't pick any of them up because they were kind of pricey. I was like, $10, damn. And the foundations, I don't, I've never been a fan of these foundations. I've tried them. I have one. They are not oily skin friendly. I look like a total grease ball when I wear that. So if you have dry skin, you might love that foundation. It's also very heavy. It's very full coverage, but not for oily skin people. So I love Milani's lip products and I noticed that this is a satin matte lip product. Now I'm used to Milani's a more matte but those are extremely dry and i just noticed that these are satin matte so i think this is a new formula that might not be as drying as the Amore matte because those would leave my skin looking like the sahara with cracks and everything not cute but all their milani products lipsticks are amazing i've never used this or seen this milani gilded nude those look like really pretty neutral matte shades, shimmery shades, and this is like $15. We got new skincare. Green Goddess. Okay, we're at NYX. One of my top three. I love that NYX First Face Primer Spray. I also love the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation. It's so long lasting, super full coverage. Never for sure, but I think the color I use is True Beige, which is this one. Okay, this is the Micro brow pencils i love these ones i usually get the color brunette they're under six dollars i also love these lip plumpers um i've only used is it this one? Oh, they don't have the one that i have i think the one that i have it's called let's glaze those are super nice they do tingle 
but they make your lips look super juicy and it has like little glitters in there that you don't feel they just look really pretty under the sunlight I have so many of these colors at home NYX glitters are the best I love them so much I honestly have like a lot I don't even know NYX soft matte lip creams are great I want to get London if they have it because I'm running low Athens okay I don't think they have London yeah they don't have it right here it's a super super popular one really beautiful and also the NYX butter glosses of course everybody knows those are awesome I really like the color Madeline this one Madeline or Madeline and which is the other one I think it's called fortune cookie is it this one no this is creme brulee Where's four? well fortune cookie is another like nude one I don't know if they have it here I don't see it these are another great matte lipsticks they're under seven dollars I love these for the fall this one is my favorite one it's called sandstorm so pretty it looks a little lighter when you put it on covergirl is another brand that just doesn't call my attention either i don't think i use anything at all from covergirl yeah oh wait yeah i've used these these are great foundations uh covergirl true brand to covergirl true blend matte made now they have a hydrating version because this one's matte looking at this foundation up here this seems pretty good cover girl outlast extreme wear it says it's full coverage for all skin types spf 18. i like that the displays have this so you know what to expect i want a super nude lipstick look at this i thought this was a concealer but it's a nude lipstick outlast ultimate What color is this? Cafe Latte. Ooh, I think I might get this one. They're $8. 24 hour matte liquid lipstick only at Walmart. Now we're at L'Oreal. They have this really awesome display of all the mascaras. All the mascara wands. I never come to stores, so I never see all the displays and stuff. I order everything online. <laughs> But like I said, Maybelline Falsies Black Drama is my favorite, so I don't know nothing about these L'Oreal mascaras. Um, I do love my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I get the color uh, Brunette. They don't have it though, but I I love it. I think it's it's eight dollars. And whenever they're like sold out, then I go to like the Maybelline. I get the Maybelline Micro Brow or the next one. They're all pretty much the same thing. I just jump around depending on which one's in stock. So I really love that. That's like a holy grail product, the brow pencil. I just recently started trying out this thing, which seems good. I haven't worn it for a while, so I don't know how long it lasts. I already told you guys L'Oreal True Match Foundation is one of my holy grail foundations. I used to use it all the time when I first started off my channel. I usually am W5 when I'm not tan and W6 when I am tan. I love it so much. It has a beautiful natural finish. The coverage is medium to medium coverage, but it can be buildable. These are really pretty. This is a really pretty collection here. I do own this. I own the bronze, please, and the blush. They're very shimmery, so if you like that, you'll love them. These two blushes look exactly the same to me. So it's more like an orangey bronzer, you know, definitely to make you look tan and sun-kissed. Um, I did recently purchase the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Powder Foundation. I really like it. I forget the color that I'm in, but I'll have a link. I do like it. I like wearing it over my makeup. Not by itself too much. Um, just because I don't like how it looks with the concealer. I have to figure out how to wear it. They have this L'Oreal setting spray that looks very similar to the Maybelline one packaging-wise and everything, what it's supposed to do. And this is like $12, so I just I might as well get the Maybelline one since it's cheaper. 
Okay, I never use Neutrogena makeup. I love their skincare products. I love their sunscreen, their makeup removing wipes. But I don't, I've never used any of their makeup. I've never used Almay um, Physician Formula. I love, I love their butter bronzer. I'm recent, I'm just using this Matte Manoi bronzer. I love it. It's super, super pretty. I'm pretty sure everyone has tried these bronzers. They're awesome, so... Of course, they're a must. They're a little bit pricey for the drugstore, but they're so pretty. Now we're at ELF, everyone's favorite. If you don't like ELF, I don't know what's wrong with you because it's great. So, of course, this is the new favorite of everyone, the ELF Camel CC Cream. If you have not tried it, you need it in your life. It is absolutely beautiful. It is a full coverage, natural finish. I think this is great for all skin types, all different kind of skin textures. It's really great, and it's like $15. Let's see, where's the price? There you go, $14. It's awesome. The concealers are also really great. They have a they have a satin finish one and they also have a matte one. I like the satin one to keep my under eyes hydrated and prevent creasing. These little blushes are amazing. The Elf Bite size blushes are like $6. Oh, they're $3. What am I saying? $6. They're $3. They have they have a blush and a highlight for only $3. It's amazing. Is how many sing? Ooh, I gotta get this because I'm running out. This is one of my favorite Elf Plumping Lip Gloss in the color Champagne. It is beautiful and it plumps up your lips. Um, Elf brushes are great, especially for beginner brushes. That's all I used to buy back in the day. I've never tried any of their mint stuff, and it really doesn't call my attention. Their e.l.f. Putty, putty primers are good for pore filling. A lot of people like the e.l.f. sponges. I've never tried it because I love my Equal Tools one. These are awesome liquid glitter eyeshadows. So beautiful. Only $3. at wet and wild i'm another favorite i love everything from wet and wild to be honest i love their foundation i love their highlighters golden flower crown is my absolute favorite i love their contouring palette dulce de leche i use it all the time i love their liquid cat suits i also love their incognito concealers um, I've recently been using this brow obsessive and makes your eyebrows look really full um, I like that it gives it like a little bit more texture to your eyebrows I love their coal eyeliners and they're so inexpensive and they're so creamy and they're huge so they last you a long time look at that under a dollar for those coal eyeliners and they're awesome I love the brown one not a fan of these brow pencils here i don't like them this concealer is good i like their matte spray um i love their new lipsticks they got like revamped their packaging is different the formula is different but it's still the same great matte lipsticks for under two dollars and i'm trying to see where their photo focus concealers are because i don't see them here but those are also great and now for $3, they have all of these eyeshadows. They have these glitters. These glitters are not my favorite, but for like Halloween and stuff for little girls, those are good. Their brushes are also really, really good. Just an awesome brand. Inexpensive with great products. I love it. I also love their like seasonal stuff that they have. They usually have like seasonal stuff. I love using them for Halloween looks. Another little bare eyelash section because I'm telling you all the girls around me. We be fabulous with our long lashes, so I can never find any lashes in store. I was gonna order my stuff. We're at the nail section. They have beautiful press on nails. I love press on nails, but ooh, what is this? Look at this. Ooh, 
I mean, when you're on a budget or you just can't have long nails because of your job, press on nails are a great option to just wear on the weekends and stuff. Like I mentioned, I love press on nails. They're so much fun. My favorite are the Jelly Fantasy line by Kiss. They are like very sturdy. They're the ones that last the longest on me. They don't break. They're not flimsy. They're just sturdy and beautiful. But they have so many beautiful designs and it's so great for when you just want to wear your nails for a short period of time and that's it. Dove Deodorant is my favorite. I love the cucumber one. I also really love the even tone one so that it can like lighten up my underarms. And I love this spray because it doesn't leave any white marks under your armpits and it doesn't transfer onto your clothes. And I love the cucumber scent as well. So I told you guys earlier, I love that L'Oreal shampoo. I'm also a fan of this. The L'Oreal Avive line is just really good overall. I've also tried the Argan Oil one. It feels really good. Especially when your hair is like damaged. So back when I had lightened my hair, I was using a shampoo that doesn't have like, I don't know, like that's color safe and doesn't have um, sulfate in it. And I was using this Argan Oil Hask shampoo. So I would use this um, conditioner and shampoo. You run out of it really quick and it's $5 so you would have to keep repurchasing it. And I use this, I love this argan oil. Just use it, put it on the ends of your hair after every wash to keep it moisturized. Even when it's not washed, you can put it on your dry hair. I love that one. Batiste is one of my favorite dry shampoo. is my favorite dry shampoo. I always get the brunette one. They all smell so good. And I thought I'd mention my toothbrush. I actually use this Oral-B Vitality toothbrush because it's supposed to like floss your teeth while you brush. It's only $20 and I just saw that they have these Equate heads so it's cheaper than the Oral-B ones to replace it. Super awesome. I've been using that for like a couple months now. I love it. And I also love using Crest 3D White toothpaste. I love all of them. But for almost a year now, I've been using this Brilliance line by Crest 3D White, which is awesome. It leaves your teeth feeling super clean, super soft, like really smooth, like squeaky clean and bright and white. I love it so much. So get you this toothpaste. I also want to mention this shaving cream that I really love. Super inexpensive. $2 for sensitive skin. Prevents razor bumps. I love it. Let me know what razors you guys are like. I am so cheap when it comes to razors. I don't like spending a lot of money. So lately I've been using these. Equate the stylish three blade ones. Three blades for $3. And they work pretty good. I like them. I just left Walmart. I think I went over everything. I was jumping around a lot because the music was super loud in some spots. There was a lot of people and I was like, I don't care what y'all think about me. I'm gonna film my video. It was so weird, you guys. I'm always really shy in public when I'm like with my, like recording and talking to myself. But I mean, I just did. I was like, you know what? I, this is what I came to do. I glammed up to come to Walmart and shop. So I'm gonna do it. I don't care what people think. And so I did it. So I'm super proud of myself, you guys. Pat on the back. So now I'm at Starbucks. I'm in line. Uh, somebody on Instagram left me a recommendation for a cold brew because I mentioned that I love the McDonald's French Vanilla Iced Coffee. It is my favorite. So much so that even in the winter when it's cold, I love to get it. Uh, but she recommended me, I have to check the name of it, uh, okay, I just ordered a tall salted caramel, caramel cream cold brew, I think that's what it, was, what it was called, I got a tall just to try it out to see if I like it, and it was like four sixty one. that's so expensive, I literally pay one dollar at McDonald's because I use my coupon. Okay, if you use your coupon, usually um, iced coffees are $2 for the medium size one. But if you use a coupon, you get a dollar off and then it's $1. <laughs> so, 
That's one thing. Starbucks is expensive. And I literally have a McDonald's like right down the street from my house. So Okay, Courtney Brown was the one who recommended this for me. Look at this. It's all tiny. I didn't know it was gonna be this tiny. I'm telling you, I never come to Starbucks. But it's so cute. It's so cute. Let me turn, let me see if the phone doesn't fall. Okay. I still gotta stir it up. Okay. Ooh, it's creamy. Mm. Ooh, that was good. Okay, hold on. I'm excited. I like it. It's not too sweet. That's what I'm always scared about. I don't like when my coffee is really sweet. I like for it to taste like coffee with a slight sweetness to it a little bit of flavor and i also hate when it tastes like milk because i hate milk so much this is really good uh, this might be this might be like a once in a while treat for me because it's expensive so thank you courtney brown from instagram for recommending this for me i love it dang it now i wish i would have gotten a big one Oh, well, I haven't eaten, so I don't want to get all hyper. I have to go eat. So, I bought more stuff at Walmart, at the second Walmart. I didn't get too many things, but I've been wanting to try this lip balm by e.l.f., so I got the Ride or Die lip balm. I have a lip balm that I absolutely love so much, but it's expensive. It costs $20 for a little jar. It's from Ulta, but it's a jar, and I don't like having to put my nail in there to apply it, and then, you know, it gets all over my fingers. So I like that this one is like a little squeezy thing that you apply. I really like that, and it was only $5. Repurchase my Champagne Elf Plumping Lip Gloss because it's a favorite, and I'm running really low on mine. I'm going to try on this, uh lipstick that looks like concealer definitely going to be using this with a dark brown lip liner maybelline super stay foundation in the color 220 natural beige Ooh, out here it's looking a little light maybe i should have gotten the other one. Oh my god i had to replenish on my acetone because i actually left my acetone at my sister's house uh while i was removing my nails when she did these look at how pretty they're so cute oh like i don't know why all of a sudden i was like you know what i should do yellow nails and she had just gotten new colors in and she got this yellow and i was like yes give me that and then i got a satin matte lipstick by milani i love these lipsticks they're super good they're really 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 matte though so first apply a lip balm make sure your lips are nice and moisturized or else they'll look really wrinkly with this and this is in the color lavish number one and that's it it seems like a little bit of stuff but it was like over a hundred dollars i hope you guys enjoyed this shop with me and gosh oh God, oh, there's somebody right next to me oh my god i feel weird um let's wait for him to leave oh hello sir with your fancy car he parked all far away because he has a fancy car and i parked all far away so that i can talk to you guys so that no one can see me and here he is looking at me oh, let's just patiently wait for him to leave with his dodge challenger or whatever that is okay he's gone <laughs> okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe turn on your notifications follow me on instagram at gabdel2 i love you guys and i will see you all next time bye